I made the uh, the mistake of looking through some of the replies uh, to this potential uh, burner account of Deshaun Watson. Leroy! <laughs> oh, never mind. I'll send it to you guys. I can't even... All right. Come on, Lee. Come on, uh, Lee. Right. Read oh. the best, Lee. <laughs> one of, the, one of these <laughs> is very got? telling, by the way. Yeah. Uh, so, yes, this uh, this uh, account was created apparently right after, uh, after the game, or at least he started replying right after the game. Uh, on September su- 2024, on it says... Yes. Leroy Bickers 4. That is correct. Uh, so he starts right after the game where somebody says, uh, you know, Deshaun stinks. What a surprise. Someone ain't watched the game. Line gives him no time to, in the pocket and no chance to make plays. Uh, it goes on and on. Uh, somebody calls him ass. Nah, what's ass was the play call and trying to make him play in a system he's not comfortable in. So this person was very aware of what uh, Deshaun's comfortable with or without. Uh, bench Deshaun or you're unserious about winning. So Leroy responds, high school state chip. And College Natty says otherwise. Sorry, franchise making one of the all-time greats look bad. Goes on. Deshaun Watson needs to go. No protection. Sorry, play calling. Deshaun did all he could today. He's the furthest thing from the problem. Uh, he tells another person, he'd like to, I'd like to see you try this. <laughs> now, here's one that I really like. Um... Like okay, somebody says, "Wow, Watson sucks." Like you could do any better. Shut up, b-word. Sitting on the couch all day. <laughs> like, why would anybody cape up this hard for Deshaun Watson? Get rid of seriously, Watson. seriously. Like, w- what would be the motive behind it at this moment? <laughs> given the allegation that just surfaced again, and the poor play, it can, it, why, why would anyone AI. take this strong of a stance? Well, well, here's the most telling one I could find. All right, Deshaun, get your ass off Twitter and get into the film room. Or does Newsom have a? T- a uh, table at uh, does, does, or Whoa. does Newsom have a table at uh, Barley tonight? <laughs> barley at Barley tonight. Anyway, the Barley House. Barley yeah. House. I'm sorry, I didn't realize. Leroy responds, "You you don't know me, fool. Go make a frozen meal or something." <laughs> what? <laughs> I did. <laughs> so this guy's calling out Deshaun Watson, and he says, "You don't know me, fool." Oh my God! Like I'm telling you, it's the, it's the only appropriate ending to this whole Deshaun Watson Cleveland experience is that if he's got a burner account, please let this be real. I've never wanted something to be. Well, it get real exposed if it is. I don't know. Hmm. They could. Pro- I mean, if anybody could expose, how it, did they Elon find out that good. Kevin Durant had one? I think he admitted to it. But how did they figure it like how did they figure it out enough to get him to admit um, to it? Um similar to this. Just overly defending himself every single step of the way and then somebody finally asked him and he's like, Yeah, I got burner accounts. <laughs> but, you know, he doesn't have the uh, the I mean, is right there here. something wrong with having a burner account? It's a little weird. Is it weird? Yeah. Like Okay. Not I I don't don't find it all. And while uh, while we're on the topic and the subject of X and looking at how people are responding to us, I am not a Dion hater, dude. I'm I'm not a Dion hater. So <laughs> we could get that straight. So I, I don't you know, know what the you're worst talking part about. is about X and stuff is like you can't question anything. Like for example, like I, I don't know the Dion hater thing. I, I don't I don't read the comments. I don't, I don't care. So say whatever you want. I just guys. happened to look because we're doing this I, whole burner I, account. I understand. Deal. Yeah. I understand. But my, my whole point is like, you know, can you not question things like whether it's um, what's whether it's your call, people or know, not, right? Or, or the people you're not like, you should be able to ask the question, right? And that's not like putting you in one camp or the other. It's just asking a question, you know. And so you ask the question like, is having a burner account bad? Yeah. Because all it's doing is really hiding the identity of the actual person that's either doing it and who they're defending or the actual person if, if they're defending themselves. And it's like, so why wouldn't you just say it yourself? You know, why do you have to have a proxy or someone else do it for you? Right. Like, there's an issue with that. Like, if you're going to say it, just say it. Mm-hmm. But I don't know, man. Well, because it, they're going to be judged differently if it comes from their verified account. Yeah. Right. And they're going and they're probably the and they're probably going to ultimately somehow some way get into some type of trouble. Like I, I feel like a burner account gives them plausible deniability, you know, and, and and maybe that's what it is. I I don't know. I I just feel like what are you worried about? Why are you worrying about defending yourself on social media? I mean, you won. You've already won. No matter what happens here, if you don't go to jail, like your reputation is already. 
you know, up for debate. So, I mean, whatever it is you're going to do to to live your life or to make things, you know, however you want to make them, whether it be right, whether it be something else, I don't know. But you've already won. So I don't get it. If this is really true, why are you out here? Because it does sound very personal. Why are you out here burner accounting and and trying to defend yourself? I don't get it. Well, to mean, what end? <laughs> I mean, you're never going to win in social media. So to what end? I mean, there's also you know other things you could call in the question, like why that pose in that position when you're getting a massage you know why these like there's a lot of weird behavior like there's just you know and and if there was going to be somebody who had a burner account to defend themselves after a a poor performance in a football game it would be somebody who's got a weird background and he would fit the criteria so so social media in general is just wild (laughs) because in some ways it presents opportunities to do something like this and then other ways, it's like, you're, you, I mean, sometimes people are telling things that aren't true. Sometimes there are things that are true. I mean, I, I, I mean I'm not going to touch on the debate from last night and all that, um, because the Springfield, Ohio thing was like a real thing. But I'll just, I'll, I'll say this from my personal experience. Last flight I took up from Florida to Columbus, Ohio, uh, at one point they were giving instructions on the plane in Haitian Creole. And I was like, what is that? Is that Creole? I was like, why are they speaking that? And then I, as I've been in Central Ohio longer, I've learned of some of the situations going on, and people try to debunk that stuff. But it's like, all right, like some people have real experiences. There's like real stuff out there. So mm-hmm. I, I don't know. Like I, I feel like social media is one of the worst things ever created, <laughs> but in some ways it does provide a light on some truths. I guess. <laughs> oh, it's definitely entertainment. It's, if anything, it's for good for inner. I get a lot of laughs off of social media. <laughs> it's just all about what you're looking for. Like for me, I look for positivity. So I look for like really, really nice quotes and stuff like that. Or I'll post them myself. Or I just look for funny, funny videos, like stuff that makes me laugh. But these people that get on here and act crazy with, you're blocked yeah. uh, that quick. You got blocked that quick, huh? Uh, I guess it's been going on for a couple of years. That's Deshaun Watson. Yeah. So he knows who you are. Well, he just, I think he probably knows who we are. Well, you so mean he, he knows who we you, are? Yeah, it's been, that's been there for like a couple of years. I mean, um. he ain't got to block me. I ain't <laughs> following him. And I'm not a hater, but I just talk about things that are going on. Hey, I'll be honest. Well, the other thing is like, I mean, I, I mean, why can't I? <laughs> It's gonna I mean, what what he's done and been alleged with is gonna follow him forever. It's not like that goes away. And you can, and and if you want to block <laughs> everybody who bust your you know chops over that, I can't thing. say bust his butt. Yeah, That's right. I, I was trying to figure out a different. <laughs> like, I was trying to figure out a different word because he might a different approach. He might have liked it. You, you say know? that, no, unblock me. Yeah, right. He might have. <laughs> imp- like, he might have. It's like now we're talking my language. <laughs> Dang. But I actually think that goes back to. Like, this was well before all the stuff came out about the massages and all that. It was his handling of the Houston Texans where he came out and the report out there was he was really upset they traded DeAndre Hopkins, yet he signed a contract afterwards and a contract But, but the reason and given was they felt like they wanted to give Deshaun Watson the opportunity to have that locker room. They said that was Bill O'Brien's reasoning and, for moving on from Deshaun and, or from uh, D Hop. And and Bill O'Brien said after the fact, look, if I had to do it all over again, first of all, I wouldn't want to be a GM. He's because uh, he was a good coach. Like they had a lot of success there. But like his point was, yeah, I, I probably would have gotten more in return for DeAndre Hopkins if that's the, if that's a path we wanted to take. But like Deshaun Watson came out and was everyone trying to take his side and say, well, they ate the the organization failed him. No, they didn't. They gave him a contract offer. He accepted it. He cried at a press conference, was so happy to be a Houston Texan, and then less than a year later, he bailed on the franchise and left him a bag of crap. And so just to see. Everybody that was kind of left in the in the path of destruction of Deshaun Watson, whether it was Baker Mayfield, who was outed in Cleveland, and now the Houston Texans, everybody has thrived after the fact, except for him. Yeah, like and the Browns. Yes, <laughs> but uh, but even the Browns made the playoffs last year with Joe Flacco. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah, well, I guess you're right. So at the Browns. Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> 